earth there is no heaven, but there are pieces of it. Wildlife is the heart of the jungle, and nature always wears the colours of a spirit. The ocean is more ancient than the mountains, and full with the memories and the dreams of time. The continued existence of wildlife and wilderness is important to the quality of human life. In all of nature, there is something of the marvellous. They cannot do much, but they are there for us. Bali, long known as Dewata Island, doesn't only allure you with the panorama of its beautiful beaches that echoes all over the world. Bali has a rich assortment of beaches, which is a favourite destination on its own. The mere mention of Bali evokes thoughts of a paradise, but it's more than a place. It's a mood, an aspiration, and a tropical state of mind. But despite all these, at the most northwesterly point of Bali, situated in Jambrana Regency, there lies an unspoiled, beautiful national park. Welcome to West Bali National Park. Covering around 19,000 hectares of area, West Bali National Park is a natural conservation that plays an important role in maintaining the survival of flora and fauna. West Bali National Park has two main ecosystems. These are land and sea ecosystems. The land ecosystem itself covers mangrove forest, savanna, seasonal or monsoon forest. Seasonal or monsoon forest is a mixed forest ecosystem that grows in the area with monsoon climate, which features wet and dry seasons. Seasonal or monsoon forest ecosystem spreads over countries that has monsoon climate, such as India, Myanmar, East Africa, North Australia and Indonesia. There is a synergy among the wildlife in West Bali National Park. The trees produce oxygen and the other living creatures use up the oxygen while they breathe. Hutan musim karena fungsinya dia itu sebagai tempat mencari makan dan cover banyak sekali jenis-jenis burung yang bisa kita lihat terutama pemakan e, buah dari aktivitas satwa yang di atas itu biasanya kena ada ranting-ranting yang jatuh itu daun-daun yang jatuh nah kadang-kadang itu bisa di, e, dimanfaatkan oleh rusa atau babi hutan. The trees that produce fruits become the source of energy and fluid for the fauna in this conservation area. Animals rely a lot on the forest fertile condition so that they will have sufficient food supply. This ecosystem is a home for various types of mammals such as deer, black monkey, macaque and wild boar. Jenis primata juga karena e, di sini khusus ada kera hitam yang suka sekali makan e, daun. Black monkey is one of the mammals living in the national park. Mostly the species live in a troop consisting of 30 to 60 monkeys and usually there are several big dominant male monkeys who become the leader of the troop.
The national park is best known as the sanctuary of the exotic Bali starling, an endemic iconic bird of Bali that is protected by the government law. Bali starling, or Leucopsa Rothschildi, is one of endangered birds that are left in this world. Nowadays, its population in the wildlife is at alarming levels. This species is critically endangered. Data from West Bali National Park, shown on last December 2006, there were only six Bali starlings left in the wild. The Indonesian government, therefore, made Bali starling as a protected bird since 1978. There is no significant difference between male and female barley starlings just by looking at the physical size. Generally, the males are a little bit bigger and have longer crest. Barley starling has a long pointy beak of 2 to 5 cm long, with a distinctive form where at the top there is a flattened elevation, which is upright. It has a blackish-grey beak with a yellow-brown tip. Konservasi di Bali, kita mempunyai unit pelaksana khusus pusat pengembang biakan jala Bali di daerah Tegalbundar. Tujuannya adalah untuk restocking atau stok anakan, kemudian dilepas biakan ke alam aslinya. The last habitat of Bali starling is in West Bali National Park in Semenanjung Prapat Agung in Brumbun and Kalor Base to be exact. Di sini ada banyak predator yaitu antara lain elang. Terus ular piton. Ular piton biasanya masuk di sarang-sarang uh, jalak Bali. Terus kemudian ada musang. Musang biasanya bergerak malam hari. Dia masuk ke sarang jalak Bali atau di kubah praliar ini. A savanna is a rolling grassland scattered with shrubs and isolated trees. The savanna is characterized by continuous cover of perennial grasses, often three to six feet tall. Savannas can be found in Australia, Brazil, Venezuela, and in Indonesia. Savannas are known as tropical grazing land. However, savannas are also considered as forest and shrubland. Acacia trees usually grow in savannas and monsoon forests. Characteristics of these trees are they grow by forming canopies that look like umbrellas. It has white yellowish stem and this tree grows tall amongst bushes and grassland. The mangrove forest is a forest that is found in the coastal area of the national park. It is always or regularly inundated with salt water and affected by the rising and falling of the ocean's tides, but it is not affected by the climate.
mangrove ecosystem has a function as nature's coast and river cliff guards to protect against erosion or abrasion. It also functions to speed the land expansion, control saltwater intrusion, and moreover, it also protects the back area of mangrove forest from the bad impact of the pounding waves and the strong winds, as well as a coastal buffer zone to reduce the salt water seepage. Manjangan Island is the largest of the other islands in the area of West Bali National Park. This island is 170 hectares wide and uninhabited. The most stunning part of this island is its magnificent underwater world. Manjangan Island's underwater world has incredible panorama. There is various types of marine biota and coral reefs. There are also two marine ecosystems in this area. These are seagrass beds and coral reef ecosystems. Diving skills are needed in order to enjoy the scenery and explore the beauty of Manjangan Island's underwater world. All of the coral reefs in Indonesia are from limestone, which is mostly released by coral. In coral reefs habitat, coral plays a role as the engineer of its ecosystem. As animals have produced limestone for its skeleton, coral is the most important component in underwater ecosystem. That is to say, coral reefs is a tropical sea ecosystem that exists in shallow clear water. Manjangan Island is also well known as the best all-round wall dive spot in Bali. It has mostly extremely bright, clear, colourful underwater panorama and also very diverse biota. Manjangan Island is surrounded by coral reefs. These are complex rock formations and 60 meters high drop off reef ring the island. Those rock formations shape several caves in various sizes that are home to coral reefs, soft corals, clownfish. and Murray Eel. In the smaller caves, there can be found starfish and batfish. The seabed is rich with barrel sponges and sea fans. The depth of the sea and the moderate flow of the current make a good habitat for tuna, groups of jackfish, batfish, angelfish, several species of sea turtles and even reef sharks.
One of the rare sea biota that can be found in Minjangan Island's water is slug snail. Slug snails, often called nudibranch, belongs to a subclass of the oysterbranchia. The word nudibranch comes from the Latin nudus, or naked, and branchia, gills. Nudibranch is very small in size, around 40 to 600 millimeters. And they also come in various shapes and sizes. Nudibranch is also often known as the butterfly of the sea. Other than its beautiful shapes, they're also potentially dangerous, as they have poison as their defense mechanism. There are about 5,000 species of nudibranch found all over the world, but there are still many more that have not yet been discovered or recorded. Manjangan Island's fascinating underwater life, coupled with its land's beautiful scenery, make the island a gorgeous natural treasure. Indonesia is very rich of its natural beauty. The West Bali National Park has become a habitat for various types of flora and fauna. They live side by side. Land, sea and air all live in natural perfect harmony. This is the natural life of Bali Island. It reminds us, as human beings, that there are also other living creatures worth to be protected and it becomes our biggest challenge to preserve the natural beauty on this planet.